Good morning, good morning and welcome. Welcome. I'm greatly honored uh, to welcome you to this uh, conference. I must say that uh, I'm really impressed by the enthusiasm and the turn up. This was not my expectation. Let's clap for ourselves. Exc exciting also, many of us have been on Zoom for two years. We have not been seeing each other. Some of us, some people have seen, I last saw them with the, when they were a little bit younger. They have gone with some gray hair, but it's exciting to be back. Thank you for the science. Without science, we wouldn't be here. So I'm going to give a brief uh, welcome. And after that, we are going to have a short video message from Dr. Somia Swaminathan, the Chief Scientific uh, Officer at the WHO, who is the, also the Deputy Director General uh, in the WHO. So she will be giving us some opening remarks, and then we will be having other uh, pr uh, presentations. I'm, I'm Professor Pontiano Kalebu. I'm the Chair of the Scientific Advisory Board of the Global Health uh, network. I come from Uganda. I'm the director of the Uganda Virus Research Institute and also director of the MRC VRA and London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, which is part of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And I'm a professor of immunovirology at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. It's really a pleasure to be here. I welcome you to Cape Town. I welcome you to Africa. So I'm really welcoming you and greeting you on behalf of all African partners present, as we are your hosts. And as I've been part of this from the outset, as chair of the Scientific Steering Committee, thank you for traveling so far, and I'm sure it will be worth it. It's really a unique opportunity and a unique conference because we're gathering not to share results like many other conferences, results from one disease or two diseases. This is different. We're here to share how we do research, how we build our teams, how we transfer our know-how and build research careers and systems for research. When Trudy and I were first working together over 15 years ago, we were setting up the EDCTP networks of excellence. And these aimed to share research excellence between malaria, HIV, and TB, and to connect centers with high and low experience. The old approach of capacity de development then was to teach sites, to collect data that was taken elsewhere, but we needed something different. So this began simply as a resource center for those wanting to undertake quality research, but with no access to training and tools as were not best they were not based in the major funded research centers. It's now 10 years, we are here as the global health network community and we are together as a family, a place for sharing research know-how, generating and sharing those tools and training so everyone has access and can lead their own research. This conference is so important as we're celebrating a decade of the Global Health Network and to take it forward together for another 10 years. There's an important new model we want to develop 
as we work together. This is the decentralized open franchise that enables federated and scalable leadership across the global south, taking this all to scale and using what has been learned about sharing knowledge and delivering skills. Of course, maintaining trust and quality is very important and has been achieved through reliable training, the tools that we have, the templates for research teams, so that we, de we deliver through regionally based activities and also using online approaches. Each region and country hub can be autonom autonomous. And this is the way we are fun function functioning. Each region and country hub to be autonomous, win funding and address their research systems and knowledge gaps. But they are all connected as a global health network and so can use the same and shared processes, tools and standards. This is what we want to achieve and this is what we're aiming for. So I welcome you and I hope you'll enjoy the next two days. Make the most of this opportunity we have of being together and congratulations to the Global Health Network for the 10 years and all their achievements. I cannot end without thanking my friend and colleague for more than 15 years, Trudy. Thank you for the hard work. I think your smile has also done it. Always smiling, welcoming, and you can see the results of your hard work. Congratulations and your team. Thank you. So now uh, I think do we have the video. Let's have the video, a uh, brief video, and we'll continue with opening remarks. Video, please. Hello, greetings from the World Health Organization. I'm Soumya Swaminathan. I'm the chief scientist. And it gives me great pleasure to say a few words to you today, though, through video. I'm very happy that the Global Health Network has recently been designated as a WHO collaborating center because of the shared goal of addressing inequity in where research happens and who benefits from the research findings. It is a unique facility that drives collaboration to improve health outcomes through new evidence. And this is done by sharing research skills and know-how between different disease areas, organizations, and across geographies. The Global Health Network has worked in close partnership with WHO from when it began in Africa. And this conference celebrates 10 years of its existence. It has become a vast, open, thriving, and connected community of practice that is trusted and regarded as a source of reliable knowledge, training, research tools, and methods. And it's generating evidence, it's fostering research careers, and building lasting, capable, and internationally competitive teams in the world's most underserved regions. It is used by many um, hundreds, maybe thousands of healthcare workers and research teams. They access resources and skills online and in their workplaces. And through this, they have formed new collaborations and generated high quality evidence that is changing the patient's lives. And I think without the support of this kind of a network, the Global Health Network, they would not have had this ability or access to such support because when you need it, then there is a place to turn to, to get it. The founders have shifted the leadership from the Global North to a novel, decentralized, federated partnership across Africa, Asia, and the Latin American countries to further drive South-South knowledge transfer to increase research outputs and the transfer of evidence into practice and tackling local health priorities. The Global Health Network works closely with WHO to connect research with healthcare delivery. 
The designation of a WHO collaborating center will enable greater impact of the work being undertaken with the Research for Health team and TDR working along with the WHO regional offices and the TDR regional training centers. Together, we are working to ensure that there are active research capabilities in every healthcare setting, as this is crucial, not just for tackling the everyday disease burdens, but without such abilities in place, when new pathogens emerge, firstly, they can be unnoticed and spread. And secondly, there will not be the local skills to spot and understand the threat and to respond to it. With successful scalable processes to embed these skills locally, WHO is very pleased to be working with the Global Health Network. We have recently set up the mRNA technology transfer program as an example, again, of leveraging these South-South partnerships and capacities, knowing fully well that given the, the new uh, technologies, given uh, knowledge sharing, data sharing, making some resources available, that a lot of innovation in the future is going to come from the Global South, and we are there to enable that and make it happen. So I'm very thankful for this partnership and for the collaboration with WHO. Thank you. Well, thanks everyone. Look at this lovely room full of people. It's just so great to see everybody here. Um, thanks for getting into the room on time. That was a perfect start. Franciana, thank you for your remarks. Um, and please pass our thanks back to Sumia. That was great to have her welcome us. So here we are um, coming together after, well, it was 10 years, actually three years ago, but apparently there's been a pandemic or something that's kept us apart. Um, but you know, this feels a much better moment to be here together because we've got so much to celebrate this few days together with the 10 year anniversary, but also with the setting up of the Global Health Network, Africa, Asia, and Latin America. So that's the exciting, exciting moment. So the aim today, and tomorrow is to bring together researchers from all stages of their careers. And we're going to hear from people today and tomorrow that have maybe not even traveled before, never been to a conference and not presented their work. And they're going to be speaking here alongside um, some legends that I know you're all excited to hear from as well. So I really urge all of you to take the opportunity we have of being together during the coffee breaks and at lunchtime in this evening, don't talk to your colleagues um, or the people that you know well from before. Please sit and talk to somebody you've never met, you've never worked with. Um, make sure this evening you talk to some new people and, and let's really see what we can deliver from this time together. When we advertise this conference um, for abstracts, we've had over um, 900 abstracts submitted and it was a very um, overwhelming but lovely challenge to go through those and select the talks. So we have a really packed two days and it's a very deliberately set up. We have no parallel sessions. We have this beautiful room and we're all gonna be here together. So please come to every session. It's not the sort of meeting to do side meetings around it. We've, we've planned plenty of time in the day and in the evenings. So come to every session, listen to your colleagues um, and, and enjoy learning. You know, we're deliberately mixing up diseases, types of research and types of organization. So, um, so please come and attend everything. Um, I think the other things I have to give, I've got a few housekeeping um, pieces to give you, but there's also some really strong outputs and important um, results that we want from this conference. As Ponciano described, this isn't a normal conference where we're just presenting results of our studies. The idea is that every talk you're going to hear and the posters in the hall are all around um, how people did their research or how they brought their networks together or how they solved a problem in, in undertaking the evidence they were trying to gather. This is all about trying to place research in every healthcare setting. And so we want some really strong outputs. And so each session will be focusing on seeing what they can draw together from across the different talks. Over the whole conference, we're going to try and draw that together. And we have a unique opportunity, um, PLOS Global Public Health um, are going to do a special edition on this conference. And so there's an opportunity to publish and pull all those together. Um, you can contribute. Um, there's posters everywhere, and it says in your folders about how you can um, to join up online. And so you can add your recommendations. We've got as much time as we can squeeze in for questions in the science sessions, but it's a bit tight because we didn't we wanted to maximize the speakers that we had but do contribute if you had pieces of your methodology or know how that you want to share please make sure you do and thank you again for the journeys you've had to get here i know you know when we planned the conference you could fly from brazil <laughs> to cape town 
not at the moment. So the journey some of you have had have been phenomenal, I know. Um, we really appreciate you coming and taking part. Um, enjoy it, meet new people, form new collaborations and do more research with each other that you might not have done before. Um, so I'm delighted with the opening session we have today. Um, and I'm going to pass uh, to Lola Mangong to chair the session. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy it. <laughs>